Warning. This video contains explicit language and copious amounts of material that is homoerotic in nature. Viewer discretion is advised. Masturbation. Everyone does it. You do it. I do it. Your dad does it. And if you say you don't, you're fucking lying. Now when you go to rub one out, flick your bean, stimulate whatever gets you going, some use nothing but their own imagination. Some use Pornhub. Some use Rule 34. And some like to filter Derby Boru by the explicit tag. No! However, there is a much more classic way that people like to get their juices flowing. The good old erotic novel. Pick up a book with one hand, the other firmly on your junk. Using one hand to turn the page whilst holding the book upright without it closing on you, falling over and losing your page was a skill held only by the most talented of readers. And one dominating force in the world of erotic literature is the gay erotic novel. And one guy who's killing it in the world of gay books is Mr. Chuck Tingle. This guy is a gay erotica producing machine. And this guy can make a gay story about anything. And I mean anything. For example, how about the story Pounded in the butt, by my own butt. That doesn't get you going? Well how about, Top Horn, turned gay by the unicorn pilots. Or maybe, Pounded by my handsome ghost boats. If you have any interest of any kind for homosexual male erotic literature, then Hugo Award winning Chuck Tingle has something for you. You just don't know it yet. And now, for your viewing pleasure, I now present to you a bombardment of Chuck Tingle novels. So sit back, take off your pants, and get ready to explore the world of Chuck Tingle. Pounded in the butt by my late Mashley Addison Data. Pounded by President Bigfoot. Slammed in the butt by my handsome laundry detergent pod. Living inside my own butt for eight years, starting a business and turning a profit through common sense reinvestment and strategic targeted marketing. Open wide for the handsome saber-toothed dentist who is also a ghost. Donald Trump's ass is haunted by the handsome ghost of his incriminating tax returns. Slammed in the butt by Donald Trump's attempt to avoid accusations of plagiarism by removing all facts or concrete plans from his Republican National Convention speech. Tuesday, pounds me in the butt. Pounded in the butt by my second Hugo Award nomination. There's a Bitcoin in my butt, and he is handsome. Be Slammed by the substantial amount of press generated by my book, Pounded by the Pound, turned gay by the socio-economic implications of Britain leaving the European Union. Pounded in the butt by the physical manifestation of awkward political dinner discussion over Thanksgiving holiday. President Donald Loch Ness Trump pounds America's butt. The entire continent of Australia pounds me in the butt. Saturday pounds me in the butt. Trained by the living biker train. Oh yeah, listen to that bell. Yeah, listen to that bell. Oh, take a look at that. Oh my god! Woo! Listen to that horn! Oh my god! Oh, she's beautiful! Rammed in the butt by the handsome, sentient manifestation of traffic. Who is a bad boy? Stuck in traffic? Don't like being stuck in traffic? Make up a song and sing it to him. I'm gonna die and come back and fuck your grandmother! Taken hotly by my handsome, physically manifested hot take. Slammed in the butt by my Hugo Award nomination. Shared by the Chocolate Milk Cowboys. Game of Butts. The Pounds of Winter. News commentator Sam Hannity pounded in the butt by the fact that he didn't disclose that he has the same lawyer as the president. Don't vote for Virginia congressional hopeful Denver Wiggleman because he is full of hate. Not because Bigfoot makes him hard. Brexit pounds my butt. Then thankfully decides 
not to exit it. Yes, queen, yes! Yes, queen! Wednesday, pounds me in the butt. Pounded in the butt by the fact that it took less time for this book to be written and published than the entire length of Tony Scaramucci's term as the Lighthouse Communications Director. <laughs> Turned gay by the existential dread that I may actually be a character in a Chuck Tingle book. I don't like where this is going. Sunday, pounds me in the butt, kissed on the wiener, by my own wiener. <coughs> Pounded in the butt by my constantly changing thoughts on the ongoing mystery of Chuck Tingle's real identity. Butt Butt Land, Ryan Goslin's and the city of butts. Pounded by the handsome zombie elevator, who is also a lawyer. Friday, pounds me in the butt. Gagent Brontosaurus, the butt is not enough. Pounded in the butt by the handsome physical manifestation of holiday shopping. T-Rex, anal workout. Veep throat. Mike Bentz, pounded in the butt by the word Lodestar. I get it. I don't get it. My billionaire Triceratops craves gay ass. Space Raptor. Butt Redemption. The state of California stalks my gay butthole. Dressed up, handsome, and not pounded, because cosplay is not consent. Chuck Tingle presents Scary Stories to Tingle Your Butt. Seven Tales of Gay Terror. Not pounded in the butt by my book, not pounded in the butt by anything, and that's okay, and that's okay. Schrodinger's Butt, The Butt Files, The Case of Bigfoot's Wiener. Sentient Fort Paul's Manafort is charged in the butt while Trump's former foreign policy advisor George Papadop admits he lied about hiding inside. Creamed in the butt by my handsome living corn. Pounded in the butt by the handsome sentient manifestation of my Twitch stream. Pounded by politics. Nine tales of civic butthole diplomacy. Pounded in the butt by my book. 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 Pounded in the butt by the. Farmer Bro, pounded in the butt by T-Rex comedian Bill Murky and a clan of Triceratops rappers trying to get their album back. Slammed in the butt by a poorly rendered computer-generated blue genie. <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. Pounded in the butt by the sentient manifestation of my own ignorant climate change denial. Pounded in the butt by the sentient physical manifestation of Valentine's Day. My butt is comforted by the realization that I'm okay and everything will be alright. Slammed in the butthole by my concept of linear time. Leonardo DiCaprio finally wins his award and it pounds him in the butt. Butt Night Bottle Royale. What's up, guys? Oh, night damage! Night damage! Night damage! Turned gay by the living Alpha Diner. Pounded in the wallet and the butt by the failed Fiber Music Festival. I'm gay for my living billionaire jet plane. Uh, we got a 747 coming in on short I'm file. Coming in. Make a hole. Make a hole. He just stole that oh, completely. Yeah. 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 Who was just yelling right, to the 747 pilot to eject? That's not how it works. Lonely author pounded by dinosaur social media followers. Slammed in the butt by the handsome sentient manifestation of election day. Pounded in the butt by my book. 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 Pounded in the butt by the banana in my butt is a handsome lifeguard. Donald Trump Jr. slammed in the butt by his secret Russian meetings and the grossly incompetent cover-up shortly thereafter. Heavy metal unicorn lawyer sings into my butthole legally. Rudolph the red-nosed butt raptor. Bigfoot Somalia butt tasting. The fuck is a Somalia? Vampire Night Bus pounds my butt. Space Raptor, butt invasion.
Dinosaur magicians Pin and Tucker make their weenus disappear in my butt. I'm in love with the handsome mummy race car in my butt. Happy birthday, Frankenstein. Now pound my butt. The fear of the unknown gives my butt paws, but then I realize how powerful and unique I am, and we pound enthusiastically. Pounded by the pound. Turn gay by the socio-economic implications of Britain leaving the European Union. Gay T-Rex law firm, executive boner. The call is coming from inside your butt. Donald Trump, pounded in the butt by his fabricated wiretapping scandal, made to redirect focus away from his seemingly endless unethical connections to Russia. Feeling the burn in my butt. Pounded in the butt by the crushing existential weight of sentient self-awareness. Sentient phantom tow truck pounds my butt. Billionaire Elon's mug takes the handsome planet Mars in his butt. Chef Woolly Mammoth eats my butt. Slammed by- <laughs> Fuck it. Damn it. Slammed by my handsome fidget spinner. The handsome pretendo swap joysticks and portable screens slam my butt while also allowing me to control my game. Monday pounds me in the butt. I hate Monday. Therefore, I decree from this day forward, there will be no more Monday. What? What? Got it? Today is Tuesday, then. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Slammed in the butt by my sentient plant-based vegetarian cheeseburger. I'm vegan now. England's ass is haunted by a hung parliament. That means two things. The curse of Bigfoot Butt Camp. Reamed by my reaction to the title of this book. Slammed in the butt by my own sentient rabbit AMA. Angry man pounded by the fear of his latent gayness over a dinosaur transitioning into a unicorn. Pounded in the butt by Kofifi. Taken by the gay unicorn biker. Not pounded at the last second because consent can be given and revoked at any moment. And this is a wonderful thing that's important to understand. Canada pounds my butt and covers my pancakes with real maple syrup in an erotic way. Also, it's delicious. Pounded in the butt by my book. Pounded in the butt by my own butt. Fake news. Real bonus. Pokey butt go. Pounded by them all. You can't, you gotta look at your phone to see them. You can't just see them. No, him. it's supposed to come in real life. No, you had to look through the screen of your phone. I'm not looking through my phone, Zach. I'm not like one of those teenagers who lives through their phone. Listen, you have to do Look it! You play the game. Charmander! Charmander! Oh my Tyson! Ew. Unicorn Butt Cops. Beach Patrol. Pounded in the butt by my podcast, Night Vale presents Pounded in the Butt by my own podcast with Chuck Tingle. Breaking the fourth butt. Eight hot to trot meta tinglers. Quietly pounded in the butt by ASMR. Chuck's Bigfoot Tinglers. Volume 1. The federal government shuts down my butt. Thursday. Pounds me in the butt. Revenger's butt game. Ant guy gets too small and goes into Thamos's butt and then gets big and hard. Chuck Tingle. Space Raptor Butt Trilogy. There's a polar vortex in my butt. And he is handsome. Slammed in the butt by my smartphone's missing headphone jack. But again. The final days of pounding ass. Hunter Dentist pounded in the butt by Cecil the Handsome Unicorn. Professor T-Rex teaches me gayness. My ass is haunted by the gay unicorn colonel. Pounded in the butt by the unexpectedly early arrival of Christmas decorations. Eight Bigfoot buckaroos hate my butt and pound it. Helicopter Man pounds dinosaur billionaire ass. The handsome physical manifestation of autumn turns me gay. Pounded in the butt by my book. Pounded in the book. Why are there so many of these? Not pounded in the butt by anything. 
and that's okay. Glazed by the gay living donuts. Living corn, James Corny fired in the butt. Seduced by Dr. Bigfoot, attorney at large. Bigfoot settlers claim my butthole. Bigfoot pirates haunt my balls. Pounded in the butt by my irrational, bigoted fear of humans who are born as unicorns using a human restroom. Excuse me, why? Dan Bigfootsarian parties in my butthole with his billionaire lifestyle. The hard way. Anally seduced by the handsome pterodactyl high roller. Oppressed in the butt by my inclusive holiday coffee cups. Pounded by the sentient manifestation of my incorrectly announced best picture winner. My handsome mountain bike is a doctor and he pounds my butt. Pounded in the butt by my book. Pounded in the butt by my book. Pounded in the butt by my own butt. Pounded by the gay color changing dress. Pounded by the gay unicorn football squad. Oh, this is so getting demonetized. You want to know the best part about all these? Every single one of these is an actual novel. Not a single one of these is made up. And they are all available on Amazon. And some are even free if you have a Kindle Unlimited subscription. Or maybe you're the kind of literature connoisseur who prefers to hold their smut in a physical form. Well, fret not, for a number of his stories are available in paperback. Just check his Amazon store, or perhaps browse his entire catalog at chucktingle.com. I am in no way sponsored by Mr. Tingle, but the whole catalog of his books gave me and my friends several hours of entertainment. Once we started looking at some of the titles, we kept going. We needed to see how deep it went. So Chuck, thank you. And may you have many years of inspired writing ahead of you. And hey, if you ever need to make a new subject for a new novel, I know this Australian guy who occasionally makes badly edited YouTube videos. 